Hello everybody, welcome to the table of crap which I've somewhat cleared to film this video specifically because I very much want to look at this item but I don't really want to do it until I can fully get it out of the box and I can't do that until we go on video. Yes, if you looked at the title you already know that we are looking at a boxed Hiachi VM-C1E video camera. Mmm, an Amphororus head, VHS Type-C. PAL version, of course, and the camera itself. Twist and shoot! Yes, this camera has a rather interesting um, function, which is what's drawn me to it. And uh, admittedly, this is not the first one of these I've brought. It's not the second one of these that he's brought. It's not even the third one of these that I've brought. This is the fourth C1E that I have brought, and none of them have worked, except for maybe this one. Now, the eBay listing did put this as from a job lot, but it is more or less new in box. Whether it's been used, it appears to have been brought in uh, France, whether it's actually been used, I don't know. And whether it works, I don't know. All I did yesterday was open it up to have a look to make sure stuff was inside. So that's good. It is. This camera, don't know exactly when it was released, but I had a quick look at the uh, instruction manual before I started. I don't think there's an instruction manual in here, actually, but uh, I was looking on my phone. And uh, in the servicing, it's got West Germany Limited, so we can assume that the latest this camera was released was early 1988. Or maybe 89. I forget. Ah, it doesn't really matter. But yes, it is a classic camera. If I uh, be a bit naughty and do this... Ugh. Fragile. Handle with care. Otherwise known as Moi Fragile. Please read the instruction manual. Do not throw away the packaging materials for repacking. Compact moving. Those are words. That's about the battery. And down here. 69mm swim with less than 1kg light weight. Twist mechanism for easy operation. Action for recording. Twist and suit. Full auto performance. Lovely and controls. Digital image generator. Superimpose. Amorous heads with flying arrays head. No idea. Short play and long play. Long play. Recording. Dual macro. In addition to conversion, something macro, tele, blah, 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 blah. And six times zoom. Six times zooms, actually. Yeah, that will put it in the 80s era because zooming wasn't fantastic at that point. In fact, the camera I'm going to cover later on had eight times zooming, and that was early 90s. Um, it sponsored the Olympics in 1991. So anyway, yes, we have a pretty much brand new inbox, one of these. And I'm making a video because I want it to work. Oh, look, packaging. Oh, oh! If I just uh, do that, here is uh, here it all is. So um, yeah, can I? Uh, put, I can't balance that box lid up without risking. Well, I'll just have to hold it. So uh, what do we got? We've got we've got a power supply that looks very clean. Bag, look, it's tagged. Don't know if that's the original tag, but it's tagged. We've got a DC thing that's been opened. We've got um, an aerial cable for your television. We've got a tape, an EC30 tape, 30 minutes recording, EC30, yes, sealed. I think we'll leave that in its box. Ah, we've got one of the video cassette things. I've got three of these now. Uh, this appears to be the same design as the Panasonic one that I've got. I don't think we've looked at these before in another video. So we won't be looking at that right now, especially as I don't seem to have any batteries to hand. He lied. Let's just make sure it works. In the battery goes. Remember, remind me to take this Kodak one out. And we've got tape number five. In you go, tape number five. Let's see if you work. Yes, it's exactly the same as the uh, Philips one. So you have to hold it. Oh, wait, yeah. You physically hold it to make it open. But hey, that's actually a very good one. That might be the quickest uh, one that I have. So uh, that's probably going to enter. Oh, I just broke it. That's probably going to enter regular service without a Kodak battery because they always corrode and ruin everything I bloody love. God, Kodak batteries have cost me so much money in corrosion. All right, what else do we have? We have, uh, oh, it looks like a switch box for your television. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting because they're um, obviously their AV cable is going into aerial. So that's an interesting development. That's very interesting. So into the camera, these go into the camera and these go for your aerial. 
antenna aerial and that goes to your television and your TV tuner as well and don't know what that is. That's interesting. Nice to have one of those. I like having those things there. We have a strap. I had three of these. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> We're adding uh, another battery. The uh, Actually, we might be able to get a date on this. Gold. Long life. I bet it's not alive anymore. Not rechargeable, may explode if they see reverse. No, there's not a date on there, unfortunately. Is there a date on here? This, uh, oh, this is uh, the clock battery. What is it, a VM3025? Yeah, 25. I'm going to put a newer 25 in and a tripod adjuster, which uh, you put onto the bottom of the camera. Very important. Uh, we've got this. Oh, I'm leaving the camera till last, if you couldn't tell. <sighs> which is a battery pack. Nickel cadmium rechargeable battery, 1400 milliamps. Hmm, this appears to have not been used. No date, unfortunately, but this appears to have not been used. 81, that would be nice. I wonder if this will actually work. That would be nice. Yeah, that's brand new. That's never been used. I might try charging this. Seems like a bad idea, but if you sent me that in the post today and said it was from China and it had just been made, I'd probably believe you. Oh, but that's all the that's all the guffings in the box. So we're going to um, move on to the, the main go. Uh, yeah, that is everything. So I'm just going to uh, move the box over there. Bye bye, Mr. Box. We'll use you for storage. Hmm. I don't know if they put these labels on in the 80s, so this might not be the original bagging. He said he got it from a job lot. Whether it's just an accumulation of a lot of things, I don't know. But let's... Um, Hmm. That looks very fresh. Very clean. Very useful. There's a battery in it already. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That does look exceptionally... That's a bit dusty. And that looks exceptionally clean and unused. Is there a battery in here already? No, there's not. Now, obviously, I've had four of these cameras now. This is the fourth one, so I've had some time to look at it. But this does actually look like it's a brand new unit that's never been used. So here is a rarity for you, YouTube. The opportunity to see the unboxing of a Hiachi VMC1E. Now, what is it that drew my attraction to this camera? I mean, if we look at it, the bearing in mind this is 80s technology. This is pretty small for an 80s, but it's all to do with this. Oh, that's peeling. That's not good. So you pull this and twist. And now you are ready to film. The lens cap is open, everything is sorted, there's a battery release, and it looks a lot more like a standard camera. Want to watch the uh, tape that you just recorded? Flip it back into position like that. Jobs are good in. Fade button, focus button, VTR cam. VTR cam. Date, display, result, reset, on off, memory, colors. So these are your titles, that's your tripod thing, and obviously you've got the extra mount, so you've got a larger piece to go on there. There's the serial number. That is that is immaculate. Tracking number. Don't know what BLC is. I should read the instruction manual. Flying head, quick edit, bit of advertising there. Ah. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. I've got to make sure I don't break this. Oh, that just appears to actually physically... Uh... Oh, it just slides, slides off, and there we go. We've got an audio out and a video out, so it's got early audio visual, which is nice. That'll be what that box is for. This also means that I can use this on my PC quite easily as a webcam if I wanted. Unlock. Don't, not quite sure what that does, but we'll figure out. And we've got uh, this, whatever this is. I think this is for focusing. So, yeah, you push it and slide it right. So that is the camera. Now, as I said, there appears to be a battery in here already. I don't know if the unit will have come with a battery originally on it, but that also appears to be the same kind of battery that we had before, and it is immaculate. If we look at the battery, you can see it's got prongs on each side here, and it's got your, your typical, is it charged? No, it's not. But now it is, so you can remember. That's I always like that little method. So we've got some batteries. Battery instructions. Oh, there's your DCM. Battery instructions, attaching the battery pack, information you don't need to know. So, yeah, uh, that's a, this is the fourth one of these that I've owned. And the big question, of course, is does it work? We, we don't know. So, we're going to... Um, 
well, we're going to open up everything and sort of see if we can make it work. So I have to be an adult and figure out the horrible puzzle of um, electrical tag ties. God, that wiring is so new. I almost feel bad taking this all out of the packaging. <sighs> Different serial number. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably fine, but this is standard battery charger, isn't it? I've uh, I've had these before. Um, this is by far the cleanest. I've got a power supply over here, so I'm going to plug it in. There we go. It's got power. That's great. Now, this is already open. Don't know why, but it is. And we've got another tag tie. This one's black, so let's uh, just undo this. You know, this may never have been undone. This is genuinely a full oh boy. I'm, uh, oh, well... I'm uh, I'm excited about this one. Uh, oh, I'm going to pull this off camera because I can't see it. You know, I said something about being a good boy who knows what they're doing. Well, I'm an idiot. So uh, here's your DC cable. Quite a long one, actually. It's always nice to have these. Always nice to have these spare as well because a lot of them are interchangeable between cameras. So we plug that in now. I'm going to move that over here. And um, I'm going to plug it in. There. Now, it might need a battery in it to function, but the moment of truth is to press the operate button. Okay, it's doing something. I can hear it. Let's have a quick look through the viewfinder. That's very staticky. That's not what I was expecting. Um, that's very not what I was expecting. Oh dear. No, oh, don't tell me it doesn't bloody work. Right, let's uh, eject it. Mechanism works straight away. And uh, put tape number five in with the record set to on. Nice copy protection there. Kind of wish I'd done it on the VHSs rather than just having a tab that you broke off. But let's, uh, let's pull this up so you can uh, see the motion. And let's have a listen. Oh, no. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh, I almost put that through the camera. Jesus, that. Oh, Pidge, have a tape. Fool, you bugger. So uh, for those of you who are curious, that was mold. And mold is a very bad thing. We do not put mold through tapes ever, which means I now have to find a suitable tape one moment. So we're back after that almost disaster with tape number 21. I brought a job lot of like 15 tapes and they were all blank. This one doesn't have any mold on it. Uh, mold on tapes is a very serious problem because it basically screws the heads up quite badly. Um, a bit annoyed that I didn't notice that before as I put that in my VCR to make sure there was nothing on it. Damn, but uh, I've got head cleaning tape so it's fine. So we put it in and that's, uh, that's our nosy, so. Hmm. Well, it certainly did a lot. Uh, we turned on, so what happens if I just press play? Will it do anything? No. No. Oh, it's rewinding. Okay. So rewind does something. What about fast forward? A lot of noise. Yeah, fast forward works, there's a lot of noise, there's a possibility that things have um, deteriorated quite badly inside, even though it's been in storage and pretty much mint condition, you know, it is uh, 30 odd years old at least, 32 years old plus, so it is possible that things have deteriorated. Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed if this doesn't work. So really, feasibly, all I need to do is press the play button, and it should play, but... It's not. Oh dear. You're fucking kidding me. Right, okay. Let's uh, put it into tape mode. And now we can see that the autofocus is um, going and the zoom buttons are here. So there you go. So the zoom is working. Now, if we look through the viewfinder, will we see Pidge's cage? Doesn't look it. Through my face. Oh. Yes. Yes, you can. It's it's very, very damaged. It would appear that the viewfinder is, um, in a word, hooked. Now, oh, that's 
That's not fantastic. It's in such good condition, but the viewfinder does appear to be completely buggered. Um, looking at it, it's lines. I've got a, a Panasonic uh, NVG2, which uh, I will be using for a review later on. Uh, and the viewfinder is very similar, although it's more jumpy, but oh, it's very difficult to tell. Can I sort of bring this to the camera for you to see? Ah, yes, there you go. So you can see, uh, if I put my hand in front, you can see the uh, lines that I'm talking about and how that doesn't look right. What happens if I press the record button? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, this one's done more than every other one I brought because it powers on, seems to have something working with it. But um, it appears that uh, I have brought another camera that doesn't effing work. Oh, you've got to be absolutely bloody kidding me. It looks immaculate. Does the battery need to be in it to bloody function? It's got no instruction manual. Right, okay, let's turn it off. It turned off automatically when you do that, right? Let's take the battery out. Let's put a uh, the DC out. Let's put the battery in. So we've got to match up the arrows. So arrow to arrow. Um, I think it goes in this way. Or maybe it goes in that way. No, it definitely goes in this way. Right, so now there's a battery in there. Maybe it will act differently. I doubt it, but who knows? Right, so we're going to open it up, and it goes to operate when I open it up. Making lots of noise, but not doing much. So that'll be the tape going around the head. And if I hit record... Hmm... This is disappointing. Uh, this is not the way I was expecting uh, this to go at all. In fact, uh, uh, there we go. We just removed the viewfinder port altogether so you can see the tiny CRT itself. Which doesn't look too bad from a distance. Still bad, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not ideal, is it? So it's not even attempting to spin and record anything. Which means maybe there's a motor missing. It doesn't even sound like it's trying there. So there's a motor that's broken. Perhaps there's a drive band off. I don't know if it's direct driven. Perhaps it just doesn't bloody work. So you can see me pushing the button. There's a possibility this button's damaged. But it would appear, despite my best efforts once again, that the fourth Hiachi VYM C1E in practically mint condition... doesn't work I'm going to tropical birdland tomorrow for, for camera footage my new standard is tropical birdland and that's where I'm going tomorrow and I was going to take this if the batteries worked but it doesn't work so instead I'll be taking the next camera that I'm probably going to review instead so yeah um, I will keep you updated on the VMC1E if it ever starts working but I've got a horrible feeling it won't uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. Uh, let me know what you think. Did you have one of these back in the day? Did it bloody work? Was it a good camera? Uh, I'm going to keep looking on eBay for one that functions. Thankfully, you can buy them untested for between 10 and £15. Pounds. I paid £60 pounds for this, but it comes with everything, and it is all in original boxing. So even though this one doesn't appear to work, if I can find one that does function... Actually, that viewfinder thing might just be tracking. If I can find one that does function properly, I can just swap things around. But yes, let me just... Uh, the last thing I'm going to do before we pan out is turn it on. Bring this up to the camera. Oh. God, this really does not want to work. That is not the noise and the actions of a camera that is healthy. 
and it, it just keeps turning itself off. So I'm assuming it's turning itself off to uh, protect itself at this point, which means that there is definitely something wrong internally. The last one of these cameras I got was incredibly frustrating because it was listed as uh, working on eBay. Oh yeah, that that's that's not good. It was listed as working on eBay, and um, when I got it, it didn't. It's, uh, using the power supplies that I had laying around. Look, I've unplugged you. Why are you still flashing? Uh, using the power supplies I had laying around, including the right one, just probably the wrong DC cables, and it didn't work. So, you know, in irritation, I was like, oh, for goodness sake, this is stupid. I don't like your face anymore. Let's kick the camera. Uh, and I decided to take the tape out uh, via destructive methods. Uh, and when I put the tape in my VCR... The tape indicated that it had been telling me the truth and it had been working. I just didn't have the right thing to uh, get it going. So I did have a working one and I tore it apart. <sighs> right. The last thing I was going to test is, is this a tracking issue? No, the viewfinder appears to be screwed regardless of what you do with tracking. Okay, as I was saying, that was the... Uh, Hiachi VMC1E. It does not work. If you know where I can get one that works or know how to fix this problem, please, for the love of God, let me know because I don't want to spend any more money on these cameras. As I said, if you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Did you have one of these? Was it as useless as this one's been? And join me next time when I look at a camcorder that probably works. Probably. The other ones I'm buying for the reviews are very problematic as well and kind of rare. Bye.